glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, our Father and our God, we have come before you at this hour of worship to worship you, to acknowledge you, to give you all adoration because you are worthy of it. Father, glory, honor, adoration be unto your holy name. In whatever way, shape, or form that we have seen, that we have heard, come and forgive us in Jesus' name. Pour your mercy upon us. Let your mercy speak for us. And as we come into the service, for everyone that will be part of the service, sanctify our body and soul. Sanctify this place of worship. Our coming here today, O God, let it not be in vain. And at the end of the service, let us go back home rejoicing with abundant blessing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Our Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For time is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jerry Mo Yama. Yeah, right. 
Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, war without end. Amen. Let us worship the Lord. Holy, holy, holy unto the Lord God of hosts. Holy, holy, holy unto the Lord God of hosts. Holy, holy, holy unto the Lord God of hosts. E Yiba. E Yiba. E Yiba. Shall we all recite after me? Have mercy upon us, O God. According to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out our transgressions. Wash us thoroughly from my iniquity. And cleanse us from our sins. For we acknowledge our transgressions and our sins are ever before us against thee, thee only have we sinned and done this evil in thy sight that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, we were shaping in iniquities and in sin did our mother conceive us? Behold, does thy truth in the inward part, and in the hidden parts, thou shalt make us know wisdom. 
purge us with the blood of Jesus and we shall be clean. Wash us and we shall be whiter than snow. Make us hear joy and gladness. That the bones with us broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from our sins and blot out all our iniquity. Create in us the clean out, O God, and renew a right way within us. Cast us not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Restore unto us the joy of thy salvation and uphold us with thy free spirit. Then shall we teach and us thy way. And sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver us from blood goodness, O God. Thou God of our salvation. And our tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou our lips. And our mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou hast not sacrifice. Else we give it. Thou lightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifice of God. A broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, thou will not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto we celestial, and build thy walls of salvation around us. Then shall thou be pleased with our prayers and supplications. Then shall we offer dance and songs of praises around thy holy altar. Amen. Gloria. Glory be to the Father, to the Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, our Father and our God. You are the only gracious Father and you are the ever faithful God. You always stand by your word and you call us to bless us. We that we are once alienated from you, we that we are once not regarded as a people, you have purchased us with the blood and you have given us the spirit of adoption whereby we are able to say, Abba, Father. We come before you at this hour to ask for the forgiveness of our sin. Father, come and forgive us in Jesus' name. Blot out our iniquity. Wash us all from our transgression, O God. Sanctify our body and soul. Everybody that is part of this service that is numbered with you, Father, come and stand right in Jesus' name. This place of worship, Father, come and stand right in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, you said where two or three are gathered, you say you are there in their midst. We are more than three. Descend into our midst and take control. Oh Lord, we want to see your hand in our midst. Many people have come with different petitions in their heart. Touch them, O oh God, and let us all go back home with abundant blessing. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 The one Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in heart as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For time is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We come to service by singing hymn 79 from our Yoruba hymn book. 
down for prayers ah ga shadwa ah ga shadwa ah ga shadwa make a joyful noise unto the lord all ye lands serve the lord with gladness come before his presence with singing know ye that the lord is god it is he that has made us and not we ourselves we are his people and the sheep of his pasture Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, our Father and our God, when we look at ourselves, and when we look at your faithfulness, when we look at ourselves, and we look at your loving kindness, when we look at ourselves, and we look at how far you have brought us, we say thank you, Lord. Glory, honor, adoration be unto your holy name. Father, we know within us that all that we have is not by the works of our hand, but it is you. It is because of your grace. It is because, because you provided. Father, glory, honor, adoration be unto your holy name. There are many churches, there are many parishes of the celestial Christ, but you loved us and you kept us in peace. You love us and you gave us your word. You love us and you, you gave us your word that you will be with us till the end. And you are making this to be Manifested. People are seeing the evidence of it among us. Glory, honor, adoration be unto your holy name. We thank you for your providence. We thank you because you have put a shelter over our head. You have provided us with the basic amenities of life. You even went beyond that and you gave us the Holy Spirit. You gave us your word as a light unto our path. Father, glory, honor, adoration be unto your holy name. Our pregnant one are delivering safely. Our young ones went to, this, went to school, to university and come out and they're having a good job. Father, it is not because they are knowledgeable. You are the one that even gives them the wisdom. Father, glory, honor, addition be unto your holy name. We thank you concerning our elders. You have given them wisdom to guide us in this parish. We thank you for the administration of this church. You have gathered like-minded people together because you saw Things that we could not see are far off. And you put people in place 
So that when the time of the tempest will come, they will be able to rock the boat. Glory, honor, addition be unto your holy name. We thank you for the choir. We thank you for the youth. We thank you for our mothers. We thank you for the men. We thank you for the women. We thank you for every arms of this church. Because when we look at every arms of this church, we could see your hand that you are the one that is doing it. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Of course, we want to be pay setter. But we have to remind ourselves that it is you. It is not us. It's because of your loving kindness. That's why you have done it. Father, continue Amen. to show your love towards us in Jesus' name. Amen. Do not cast us away from your presence. Amen. Do not let us run away from this love. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Our Lord Jesus Christ. We continue by singing in 217. Hallelujah, new one pillar for you, Mama. Hallelujah, new one pillar for you, Mama. Papa, my quiet, my love. Let us kneel down for prayer. Brethren, it is time to go into three members' prayer. Three members' prayer. The first person, Emil, in the person of Brother Emmanuel, who pray for spiritual power and progress of the church. Spiritual power and progress of the church. Second person, a female, and a person of sister, Omolara Kasali, she will pray for victory and protection for the nation. Victory and protection for the nation. And the third person, a male, and person of prophet, Bolaji Ojo, he will pray for blessing and God's favor. Blessing and God's favor. Let us be precise in our prayer. Prayer as directed. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, our Father and our Lord, we thank you, Lord, for today, O oh Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you have spared our lives until today, O oh Lord, except our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, I put all of us in your hands, O oh Lord, I put all of us in your care. Because we have come to church, O oh Lord, we have come here to worship you, O oh Lord. Some of us have come here for various things, O oh Lord. We need your spirit, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, grant us your spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, in our various lives, O oh Lord, some of us need your spirit, O oh Lord, to comfort us, O oh Lord. I pray that your spirit shall come and comfort us in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, some of us are looking for your spiritual power, O oh Lord. The spiritual power to conquer any demons that they are facing, O oh Lord. I pray that they shall conquer them demons in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that as, this, as, you, as we are in this church, O oh Lord, I pray that this church shall continue to move forward. I pray that this church shall progress. I pray that you shall come and be with us. You shall come and protect us. You shall come and guide us, O oh Lord. And in our various lives, O oh Lord, in our schools, in our workplaces, in the church, O oh Lord, us individually, we shall progress as well, O oh Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael. Everlasting King of Glory, we worship you, we honor you, we adore you, Father, be accepted in Jesus' name. My Lord and my God, we are here today, O oh Lord, to worship you, Lord, Father, let our, answer, our prayer be answered in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, we ask for your victory and protection in aspects of our life, Father, guaranteed to us in Jesus' name. Amen. In our workplace, O oh Lord, in our home, in our family, in our church, Father, Lord, give us victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Every power of the enemy, O oh Lord, Father, do not let it succeed in our life in Jesus. Amen. 
Amen. Us as we go in out, oh Lord Father, we pray that you will protect us in Jesus' name. Amen. Every evil spirit, Lord Father, it will not happen to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Continue to be our Father in Jesus' name. Amen. In everything that we lay our hand on it, Father Lord, let it be success in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Father Lord, we now ask you, Lord Father, our affairs is coming, Lord Jehovah, Lord Father. Father, lead us and direct us in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything that we do on that day, O oh Lord Jehovah, grant us your blessing in Amen. Jesus' name. Every person that come on that day, O oh Lord Father, whatever our request, O oh Lord Jehovah, giving unto us in Jesus' name. Amen. Continue to have your way in our life, O oh Lord. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 Holy. Memo. Memo. KPC KPC Penny Baba Bukunwa Ami Luko Jesus Christ Arugo Job Bukunwa Ami Luko Jesus Christ Olu Jomi Mowa Bukunwa Ami Luko Jesus Christ Awole Ni Waju Re On Loro Loni Bi O Tiro Josi Le Ti Le Mwe Sori Re Jadi Baba Ojo Ibukun Rosori Iwa. Amen. Luko Jesus Christ. Ojo Ibega Rosori Iwa. Amen. Luko Jesus Christ. Ojo Itura Rosori Iwa. Amen. Luko Jesus Christ. Ojo Ifokambale Rosori Iwa. Amen. Luko Jesus Christ. Ojo Itura Uluwa Rosori Iwa. Amen. Luko Jesus Christ. Bauti di Delone Kadi Dekpe Lui Dalari. Amen. Luko Jesus Christ. Jesus Uluwa Wa. Amen. 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 Luko Jesus Christ. Shall we continue service by singing him two five eight from a Yoruba Imbu? Akbar Emo Wale. We all need down for prayers. Brethren, it is time to go into silent prayer. Silent prayer.
Let us make haste to bring our prayer to a close. Amen. 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 In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Eli Bama. Eli Bama. Eli Bama. The Lord hear us in a day of trouble. The name of the God of Celestia defend us. Send us help from the sanctuary. And strengthen all out of his holy place. Remember all our offering. And accept our prayers. Grant us according to our heart. And fulfill all our counsel. We will rejoice in the salvation. And in the name of our God. We will set up our banner. The Lord fulfill all our petition. Jehovah. Jesus Christ. Holy Michael. Our Father and our God. Divers are our request before you. But we know that you can do it. Father, answer our prayer in Jesus' name. And set us in that place. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 The Lord just pray. We can start it by singing in 69 from our Yoruba in book. Awole, Gloria, Kuwa. Shall we sit down for the reading of the only lesson? Hallelujah. 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 The only lesson for today's Power Day service shall be taken from the book of Genesis. Chapter 39, reading from verses 9 to 23. Genesis chapter 39, verses 9 to 23. Genesis 39, verses 9 to 23. And it reads as follows. There is none greater in this house than I. Neither have he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And it came to pass, as she spake to Joseph day 
by day, that he hearkened not unto her, to lie by her, or to be with her. And it came to pass, about this time, that Joseph went into the house to do his business, and there was none of the men of the house there within. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. And it came to pass, when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth, that she called unto the men of her house and spake unto them, saying, See, he hath brought in an Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. And it came to pass, when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled and got him out. And she laid up his garment by her until his Lord came home. Verse 17. And she spake unto him according to these words, saying, The Hebrew servant which thou hast brought unto us, came in unto me to mock me. And it came to pass, as I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled out. And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, which she spake unto him, saying, After this manner did the servant to me, that his wrath was kindled. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph, and shewed him mercy, and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison. And whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. Verse 23, the last verse. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand, because the Lord was with him. And that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. Here ends the reading of the only lesson. May the Lord bless the reading, hearing and the doing of his words for the salvation of our souls. Gloria. sit down for the announcement by the parish secretary. Hallelujah. 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 We give thanks to God whom in his mercy has called us unto himself this day that we might be partakers of his great grace. It is our prayer that we, as we have joined him in fellowship, his love and grace will never depart from us in Jesus' name. Amen. We are all welcome to Celestial Church of Christ, Elephant and Castle Parish. God in his love has shown us himself and has called us to worship him in this place. In doing so, he has given us the instructions by which we would be acceptable before him. As members of Celestial Church of Christ, 
We are to adhere to the Ten Commandments as recorded in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, from verses 3 to 17. Because he has separated us and sanctified us as special unto himself, he has also given us 12 rules ordained by the Holy Spirit. The final rule states as follows. Holy is the celestial church of Christ, and all those who worship in her should endeavor to be holy and clean, both in body and in soul. It is our prayer as we do so, the God of celestial will never depart from us in Jesus' name. Our times of services and meetings remain the same as we are currently partaking in. Every Friday we have the Power Day service at 7 p.m. The choir on Saturdays have their practice in the morning at 10 or 11 a.m. And on Sunday we have the Lord's Day devotional worship at 10 a.m. It is our prayer that as we meet our God at this, these times, every point of our need will be met by him in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are no special announcements for the time being. If there is anything to add, we will be well informed. This is the end of the announcement. We have just been informed that all our parishioners who are over 70 have a meeting with the shepherd at 6 p.m. All elders, all parishioners over 70 have a meeting with the shepherd at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. On Tuesday. So let us make this a date, put it into our diaries. And we pray that God will bless us in Jesus' name. This is the end of the announcement for the time being. If there is anything to add, we will be well informed. Hallelujah. 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 Shall we all recite the creed in unison? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From change shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the celestial church of Christ the communion of sin, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, our Father and our God, your word made us to understand that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And he went further to say the word became flesh and dwell among the sun. Let your word come into amidst us tonight in Jesus' name. Teach us that we will know how to behave in your presence and in your house. Teach us so that we may reign with you in your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Mu fa ye mi fun je esu. Mu fa ye mi fun je esu. Mu fa ye mi fun je esu. Ka ye mi ba le dara. Thank you. You can sit down. Hallelujah. 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 The lesson read to our hearing is one that we all know so well. 
We know it so well because we have heard it many times. I bet God still has a message for us. You see, when you hear the story of Joseph, it was the beginning of the fulfillment of the word of God unto Abraham. When he asked Abraham to make an offering, when he asked him to divide it all in half, and the Bible recorded that the bed of the air came to that offering and Abraham drove them away. And the Bible made us to understand that there was a great darkness over Abraham and Abraham slept. And God told him that no for surety that the people that will come out of you will be a stranger in a land which is not theirs. And at the appointed time, if I will meet up with them and I will deliver them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At that time, Abraham had no, no child. But God made a proclamation as the, to say this is a sign that I will give you a child. So what does God want us to learn today? The story of Joseph. We read the first part of this chapter 39 on Wednesday. And the sermon made us to understand that Joseph knew that he has a master. And he will not do anything contrary to what the master has said. And as it is a custom that we always give a topic. I'll give this one as it was given to me. We stand to stand. Hallelujah. You see, Joseph was the beloved of his father. You could say that was the, one of the architects of his fall, or I got into prison, or I became a stranger in a land that is not his. Because of the affection that he received, and because the Lord loved him, and because the Lord made him to dream dreams, his brother called him the dreamer. We all know that story so well. In fact, some of us have kind of come to the conclusion that it is don't share your dream with everybody. Hallelujah. What God will do, God will do. What will happen, will happen if it's according to purpose. Whether you decide to write it in your paper, whether you decide to keep it in your, in your heart and not share it to anyone, what he will do, he will do. And Joseph found himself in a strange land. Not as a stranger, but as a slave. You see, if you are a stranger, you could decide that, okay, I'll go back home. But a slave, bought with a price. So, he needs to earn his freedom before he could be free. But the Lord was with him. And in the lesson of the day, his master's wife saw something in Joseph. Which I'm sure everybody else sees. But she wanted to go further. You see, the beauty of the matter is this. When you are a child of God, what you have trained your heart to do is how you behave. I'll repeat that. What you have trained your heart to do is how you behave. You see, when you train your heart to be a champion, you walk like a champion, you talk like a champion, and people will see that you are a champion. Can we let them come in, please? Thank you. But when you have trained your heart, that you are a prey, then predators will always over, over you. They will always come to you. They will want to eat you up. And as, as believers, as children of God, how can we become a prey? When you refuse to retain the word of God in your heart, 
I didn't say in your head. You know when you go to school? You go to school to learn medicine. If you're not really interested in it, you find yourself doing banking and finance or you find yourself working somewhere else, not following that medicine. Your heart is not there. But when your heart is in the discipline that you have gone to study, you really want to do it. Even if it's for a few years, you really want to do it. So that people will see that your heart is in it. So the word of God needs to be in your heart. You can study it to pass an exam. That one is in your head. That's two different things. But when it's in your heart, it becomes part of you. It becomes one with you. So whatsoever you do, people will see the full step that this one is a child of God. This one has got the light. And Joseph knew that the word of God is in his heart. He knew the plan of God concerning him. He knew that he carried something. And he was not ready to drop that thing. And that was why he told the master's wife. You see, he started from the point that she would understand so that she would leave her alone. But she didn't understand that look, everything in this house is in my care. It's only you that is not in my care. Because you are his wife. But she wouldn't understand. She wants to bring him down at all costs. You could have, you, you, if you argue that she has seen a glory in Joseph and she wants to take hold of that glory, you are not wrong. But Joseph knew what he had. You know, in this day and age, you are in your your master's company. And the wife of the CEO is now making advances towards you, promising you this and that, that if you do well, look, we will own this thing. A stupid fellow will follow the wife of the CEO. A stupid fellow. But Joseph knew that because Abraham, Genesis 18, 19, Abraham, God said concerning Abraham, for, for I know Abraham, he will teach his household. He will teach his household to follow God. So they have been taught the way of God. Fine, not all of them receive it wholeheartedly. If not, why would the other brothers want to kill Joseph? But Joseph knew what he had. He knew the story of his father. He knew that God has made a promise concerning them. And he was not ready to let that go. Even in a strange land. Even as a slave. He was not ready to use his five senses to, to make his way out of slavery. He wanted to trust God completely that when God is ready, he will deliver me. But this woman will not let Joseph rest. And Joseph knew, you see, as Christians, as believers, as children of God, you are not here by mistake. Corinthians made us to understand, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20, verse 20, made us to understand that you have been purchased with a price. Now, if you have been purchased with a price, it means that you no longer own yourself. You know, the, the common saying out there among believers is give your life to Christ. Now, if you have given your life to Christ, then it means the life you live is not yours. It belongs to the Son. And if truly it belongs to the Son, you will not do anything that will separate you from the Son. Joseph was not ready to be separated from his God. He was not ready to sin. David said in Psalm 119 verse 11, he said, Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. You know, many of us, we read the Bible so well. We read it. In fact, we quote, we do our to sin. But when, it, when we get to the point of application, we fail miserably. 
Because we have not retained it in our hearts. You, you will have uttered some statement before you realize that, ah, I am this and that in the church. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Because you have not trained yourself to walk in alignment with the word of God. You have not trained yourself to withstand, to stand. You have not trained yourself to resist. It is not every carrot that is dangling in front of you that you need to hold and eat. Some will lead you to the grave. Joseph refused to, do, to commit adultery. Even though at this time, God has not given them the law of thou shalt not commit adultery. But when you belong to God, his law will be inscribed upon the tablet of your heart. So I find it amazing when people say that because of the ordinances is too much, blah, blah, how many of us can keep it, blah, 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 this and that, this are now reduces into two. All those things that you reduce into two, all those things that you say is too much, are included in those two. Because if you love your neighbor as yourself, why would you want to sleep with his wife? And if you love the Lord your God with all your heart, why would you want to sin against him? Everything is included. But when you belong to God, his law will be inscribed upon the tablet of your heart. And the Holy Spirit will remind you daily of what is expected of you. You see, we come to church. On Wednesday you are here. On Friday you are here. On Sunday you are coming. You have been coming so regularly that it has become a routine. It has become part of your life. You, you, you just get into the mood. Oh, it's, oh, it's five o'clock. Five, oh, I better get ready. We're going to church. We, we don't even start to consider what, 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 what is my expectation in going to church? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or we don't even start to consider that I'm doing those things because there's a place for me in heaven. So when you are not within the church community, when you are out there, the point of application, you are able to withstand, to stand. Um, Proverbs 1.10 says, my son, if sinners entice you, Thank you. Consent thou not. They will come with their proposition. They will come with their proposal. They will come with different things. The, the, the reason why they are coming is to take you away from God. It's, it's as simple as that. To take you away from God. And now if something wants to snatch you away from God, why will you yield so easily to that thing? Brethren, we need to really look at ourselves. We need to really look at our heart. We need to really ask ourselves, where do I want to spend eternity? Whether we like it or not, we will go one day. You can pray till tomorrow. I think I said you can pray till tomorrow that those that have passed away we are alive, we have not passed away we are using to praise your God that does not mean that God will forget to take you you will go home and the beauty of the matter is this God does not need the testimony of your neighbor to know whether you, are, you write your name in his book he will look at you now if God is really looking at you which you know he is looking at you and he's making some statement. He's writing things down. Won't it be proper for you to do the right thing? Now, if you have air, okay, you have committed adultery. You have, done the, you have done the wrong thing. And you have come to God. You have asked for forgiveness. And he truly forgave you. Why should you go back again? Why must you now be known? You know, when, 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 there are some certain people, when they see them the way they do, they are talking to you. <laughs> people will start laughing. Why should you be known by that? Joseph refused to be separated from God. You, you, you don't know the worth of your God. You don't know your worth in God and you so easily drift into sin. Away from God. If we're going to take anything home tonight, 
It's a reminder that God commissioned a lot of things into our hands. Don't throw it away for things that are temporal. Don't throw it away for things that perish. Make haste to make sure that your name is in the book. Do everything within your power to make sure you make heaven. And do everything within your power to teach your children the way of God. Joseph was taught rightly. And he showcases so well in amidst adversity, in front of temptation, he did not allow himself to fall into temptation. The Bible says, seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside everything, everything we so easily ensnare. You are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Lay them aside. You are not on your own. Where two or three are gathered, I am in their midst. That's what Jesus said. I will be with you until the end. That's what Jesus said. So if you, before you do anything that you know is against God, Joseph told the woman, he said, how can I do this and sin against God? I'm running off. But look at it this way. We're talking about an Egyptian here. We're talking about a people that Joseph knew that they are proper 100% idol worshiper. So he knew that they are not worshiping God. You will have said, or if you need is the richest of the Gentiles. But is that what God expects of you? Is that what he told you? Let us have a relationship with God. Let us have an hair for God. Let us retain the word of God in our heart. So that at the point of application, we will be able to apply. And we will be able to withstand. To stand. It is my prayer that that which we have heard, may the Lord inscribe it upon the tablet of our heart. And give us the enablement to walk in it. Thank you and God bless. Shall we all kneel down? Short silent prayer after the sermon. Jehovah. Jesus Christ, only Michael, our Father and our God. Without you, we are nothing. Without you, teaching us, training us, we cannot do these things. Our flesh is weak. Let your Holy Spirit come into our midst in Jesus' name and put an hand to the work of the flesh within us and let us walk in the Spirit. So at the end of our sojourn on earth, who will reign with you in your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Well, just right. Collection. Bukunwa baba o bukunwa Kale sin o titi Bukunwa baba o bukunwa Kale sin o bade ye Buku wa baba, buku wa baba, o buku wa. Kale si yo titi, buku wa baba, o buku wa. Kale si yo bade ye, buku wa baba. Bukoa Baba o Bukoa Kale Sinyo Bade ye Bukoa Baba Bukoa Baba o Bukoa Kale Sinyo Titi Ooh.
Jesus Christ, only Michael, our Father and our God. Of a truth, you have blessed us. And out of this blessing, we have brought this to honor you. Father, come and accept it. And those who will find it difficult to offer, Father, put them in a position to do so in Jesus' name. And at the end of this service, O oh Lord, let us all be blessed by you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Ijo mi mwa la toruwa La toruwa La toruwa Ijo mi mwa la toruwa Koshe Shall we praise the Lord? Appel 
Alléluia, Seigneur. Alléluia. 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 We know that that man comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But you came to give us life. And this is why you named the church Celestial Church of Christ. Therefore, all your offerings of today, including this parish of God, will continue to see the goodness of God. Amen. The joy of God shall always be our portion. Amen. Because we are of the royal priests. That's what the Bible says. And we are claiming it. We are of the royal priesthood. A special and a dedicated somebody for the glory of God. Therefore, in Jesus' name, this shall never be the end of your thanks offering. Yeah. As you are thanking God today, praises shall never cease in your mouth. Yeah. Goodness shall continue to follow you. Yeah. Because the Lord is your shepherd. You will never lack. Amen. In Jesus' name, elephant and castle, you never want. Amen. And whatever we lay our hands upon shall prosper. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The Lord bless and keep you. Amen. The Lord of Celestia, make his face to shine upon you and upon your household. Amen. Make his face to shine upon this household of God. Amen. So that no evil will befall us. Father, we know that we know that you are everlasting. Therefore, the glory that you gave to the Son 
that the sun always shine during the day, this glory shall continue to follow us. Amen. We shall never lack. Amen. We shall never want. Amen. We shall never borrow. Amen. And Father, because you made the Israelites to pass through the desert for 40 years, and at the end of the day, you are telling them, did your shoes worn out? And Yoruba will say, in Jesus' name, we shall never lack. Amen. In Jesus' name, the glory of God will continue to show in our life. Amen. And we will continue to always be on top. Amen. This is your portion. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray. Shall we praise the Lord? Been on Bojo I do Bojo I do Rami about I do rami akba o don don me. Shall we bring the service to a close by singing M62 from my Yoruba hymn book? Jesu, a miosin o. to give us the closing prayer. Jehovah. Holy. Jesus Christ. Holy. Holy Michael. Holy. Father, look upon us at this moment for the song that we have rendered unto you. It is a pledge before you, my Lord, that it is only you that we will worship, only you that we will serve to the end of our life, and our blessing is in you. Father, let it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. It is by your spirit that we'll be able to do this till the end. Mm -hmm. 
Father, fill us up with your Holy Spirit. Amen. Any form of weakness spirit, remove it from us in Jesus' name. Amen. Give us the energy, mm -hmm. the strength, and the will mm -hmm. to worship you to the end. Amen. Let us continue to obey your will. Amen. Do not let us falter. Amen. As you have called us as your sons and daughters, we have no other God beside you. Ben. I am is your name. Father, lead us till the end. Amen. Every one of us that is present before you today, as I repeat, they have made the pledge unto you. Rebook all form of flesh for us. Amen. Empower us, Lord. Amen. We thank you for the service of today. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for all our prayers that we know thank is you, being answered by you. Amen. And we thank you for our offering that has been accepted by thee, my Lord. I use this opportunity to pray for those who are sick, my Lord. Touch them with your loving kindness. Amen. Let your blood make them whole. Amen. Those who are pregnant, my Lord, let their day of delivery be a joyful one. Amen. As we have gathered today, we thank you. We shall be coming back on Sunday. Let our offering be more than today. Amen. And the Friday service, which is the past service that we'll be doing shortly after this service, manifest yourself in us. Amen. In our midst. We thank you for all and prayer. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for time is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Gloria. Benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us. Accept all our supplications of today. Give us according to our hearty desires. Today being the day of power, may the power of God shine in our lives. May His glory radiate in us. Amen. Oh, Lord, we pull the prophet service before you. Come and take control of the affairs. Amen. Let your glory shine. Amen. Never leave us alone. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 Oh, Lord. Shall we all stand up? As we shout seven hallelujah to the four corners of the world together. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jerry Mo Yam.
Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, our Father and our God. At the beginning of the service, we call upon you. In the course of the service, we prayed unto you. We sang him. We offered thanks. All that we have done before you today, let it be acceptable in Jesus' name. As we are going to finish the service to a close, we are going home. Let your presence go with us. Let your voice go with our appearance. As you have taken hold of your great power and you have reigned, let the power of your reign be evident in our life. Anywhere we go, let people see that truly we are called by your name. In blessing, bless us. In uplifting, uplift us. All that we lay a hand upon, O God, let us prosper. What your finger has written concerning us, your promise for us, your covenant for us, bring it to fulfillment. In Jesus' name I pray. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us. Answer our prayer. Set us in a light place. Let us go back home with abundant blessing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Seven earlier to the four corner of the world together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 halleluj